Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. Hey everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online video here on the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about one of GTA Online's most unanswered questions, and that is what happened to Mark II weapons. The first batch of Mark II weapons was added in the gun running update back in 2017, with the last batch arriving in the Doomsday Heist later that year, which was almost 6 years ago now if you can believe that. And back when they were first introduced, I had thought this was going to be the new norm for weapons being added going forward, because the Mark II versions of the weapons not only do more damage, but they just have so much more customization and much higher detail models too than the Mark I variants. It was by far the most customization GTA weapons had ever had in history, and it was really cool to see them implemented along with the special ammo mechanics. And with the additions of all the new weapon liveries and stuff, I thought that would be a good way to introduce even more Mark II weapon liveries down the road, which they eventually did. They added in the American flag Mark II weapon livery, but that's it. Since that point, nothing new has ever been added to the Mark II weapon family. No weapon skins, no new Mark II weapons, nothing. And it leaves this weird feeling because now whenever we get a new weapon, it doesn't really give you reason to want to use it over a Mark II weapon because you know that weapon has way less customization and a majority of the time, worse stats because you can't put a heavy barrel or anything on it to increase the damage range. Don't get me wrong, I do love the service carbine, but you can't put a scope on it at all, it lacks customization. And the precision rifle, that has no attachments at all that you can equip, it's just the same Mark 1 tints we've had since 2013. You know, we see this a lot with GT Online, Rockstar will add in a feature that's quite nice in an update, and before you know it, they just abandon it and never touch it again. That's exactly what has happened with the Mark II weapons it seems, and I'm having a hard time understanding why they neglected it though. Because I think for most people playing the game, they like being able to customize their weapons. It brought an element that was a big step above what the weapons were like before that, and to just go back to how they were feels weird. Some of the Mark II weapons are also some of the best weapons in the game at the same time that people use on a daily basis. The Heavy Sniper Mark II, for example, the Special Carbine Mark II, the Heavy Revolver Mark II with FMJ rounds, the Pump Shotgun Mark II, the Marksman Rifle Mark II, they're all very good and have their uses. And look, I'm not oblivious to the fact that Mark II weapons do take longer to make from a design perspective than just your standard Mark I weapons, because not only do they have to make a Mark I variant of that weapon, but then they have to make all of the Mark II weapon skins for the weapon also, assign the special ammo types, the attachments, it's a lot more work than just adding in a simple Mark I weapon and calling it a day. But I think we should at least get one or two Mark II weapon upgrades for existing weapons each DLC. And two of the most common ones that I see requested are a Mark II AP pistol. Don't really have to change much with it, just imagine a Mark II AP pistol with a 60 round drum mag for instance and the ability to put sights on it. And of course along with that you'd have the special ammo types which wouldn't be compatible with the extended mag, but people would go crazy over that. The AP pistol is objectively one of the best weapons for drive-bys, so to give it like a 60 round drum mag for a Mark II weapon upgrade that would be insane. Or how about a Mark II precision rifle, take that lousy sniper that was added in last year's summer update and really just give it attachments and a stat boost. Multiple scope options, suppressors, and here's the best part, the scopes already exist in the game on the Heavy Sniper Mark II, so just take the models from those scopes and just apply them to the precision rifle. All they would then have to do is make the Mark II weapon skins for it essentially and apply the different ammo types. And some of you probably already know this, but even I made a concept of this a while ago because I was just so fed up with how lazy of a weapon the precision rifle was. And you can see right here in game the precision rifle with a bunch of different scopes like red dot sight, thermal scope, advanced scope, so many different ones. I also went as far as to make different magazines for it, incendiary rounds, arm piercing rounds, and I even made an extended mag by just taking the model of the regular mag into blender and just making it bigger. It's that easy. If one person can do this, then I don't really see how we can't get more Mark II weapons. Another option would be the Assault Shotgun Mark II, another weapon that people have been using since launch day. They could turn it into the Battle to Gate Tony Shotgun with explosive slugs as an attachment. I would even go as far as to say that as a trade-off, I would take one less car per update if it was replaced by another Mark II weapon instead, if it's truly a dev resource issue. I don't know about you guys, but I would gladly take another Mark II weapon that I would use on a daily basis over some random supercar that I probably will almost never use. Another thing that I'm kind of confused about though is how they're handling adding in weapon skins, and this kind of ties into the lack of care for Mark II weapons. They have actually started to add in new weapon skins, however, it's for Mark I weapons. And not only that, weapons that no one uses. In the contract update, they did add one for the AP pistol, the new at the time heavy rifle, and the micro SMG. Those aren't terrible, but they could be better. But in Jug Wars, for whatever reason, they made like 10 weapon skins for the knife and the baseball bat and one skin for the pump shotgun mark one why 
To me, that just seems like a gigantic waste of resources. First of all, I can assure you that no one is using the Mark 1 pump shotgun. If they do use a pump shotgun, it's going to be the Mark 2 pump. And if they don't have the Mark 2 pump, they're just going to use the assault shotgun. I've never even seen that skin in game because I have the Mark 2 variant on at all times and it doesn't let you look at the skin if you don't have the Mark 1 variant equipped. And for the knife and the baseball bat, why melee weapons? I can understand like one skin for a knife and a baseball bat, but to have like 10 of them only for those two weapons, why not add in new ones for the rail gun, which was new to online in that update? That would have been better. If you really want to push GTA Plus numbers, add in Mark II weapon skins that are exclusive to GTA Plus. And I'm talking every Mark II weapon you get delivery for, not just one. Much like how the American flag livery was, you can put on any of the Mark II weapons you wish. People want more shit for guns they use, and they use Mark II weapons at the end of the day, not these random Mark I or melee weapons. Imagine a CSGO op style skin for the Heavy Sniper Mark II, the gun everyone and their mother uses. That would be fucking nuts. I didn't really want to turn this into a rant, so I'm sorry for kind of going on a bit of a tangent there. I often just find the decisions they're making to be so out of touch, and the abandonment of Mark II weapons is another one that I just have trouble understanding the reasoning behind it. Despite GT Online almost being 10 years old, there's just still so much untapped potential, and I'm just really confused as to how they're not taking advantage of it. But let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. What do you think about Mark II weapons? Do you want them to make a comeback? And which weapon do you think deserves a Mark II weapon upgrade? If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GT Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.